Here are four nursing school clinical blunders that you want to avoid. Number one, arguing with or constantly questioning your preceptor, even though you may be right. So I've had preceptors come to me and complained about a student they've had because the student kept saying, they don't teach us that anymore. That's the old way of doing things and telling the preceptor that they're doing it wrong. And a lot of times these preceptors, they are seasoned. They have been in this game for a very long time. And whenever they say that, it really turns them off and they don't like that. Number two is not taking initiative. So I know that whenever you're at clinicals, a lot of times you're just thrust into these situations that are stressful and you're really just like nervous because you don't know anyone or how things work, but you're there to learn. So you just wanna let your preceptor know that you are there to help them with whatever they feel comfortable allowing you to help with and that you're there to learn. Number three is being on your phone or social media or even taking selfies to post on your social media whenever you're done with clinicals. That is one big thing that I see preceptors get very aggravated about because they know that you're there to learn and they don't like that you're taking time to do those other things because it sort of shows them that you're not interested in what they have to teach you. And then lastly, not making the most of your clinical time. Now you're gonna be in some clinical settings that you're absolutely gonna have you know, let's say that pediatric nursing is not your thing or mental health nursing. You really don't want to be there. You're just there to get the grades so you can get through nursing school. Or you have a preceptor that just really doesn't like a student. Well, any situation that you are in, there is something that you can learn from it. For example, let's say you're with that preceptor that just really doesn't like students. Well, maybe they don't like having students with them because they're just like this really efficient nurse and having a student with them sort of slows them down because they don't want to have to be divided between the two things. Well, what, you're, what you can do is just really observe them and watch them, how they structure their day, how they deal with patients, how they deal with other healthcare providers, and you will learn a lot from that. So when clinicals give you lemons, make lemonade out of it. So take any difficult situation that you're in and try to learn something from it. Okay, so those are four blunders that you probably want to avoid making in clinicals. Now, if you wanna watch other videos in this series, you can access the link in the YouTube description below.